Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, hello. Hello, hello Pablo. Richard. Hello, Minor. Good evening. Hello, Carla. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Sorry. Okay, hello. How are you? Fine, and you? Good, thank you. Hello, Maria. Marita. Good evening. Okay, you ready, Minor? Okay, good to see everyone. Yes. Very good seeing you today. Okay, are you guys ready? Very good. Let's go ahead and start. Let me share my uh, my book with you. Uh, today we're going to talk about etiquette. Do you know what the term etiquette means? Do you know what this word means? Etiquette? Do you know what this means? Alguien tiene idea? What does this mean? Etiquette in English? Do you know? Okay. Let me let me give you an example. Uh, in the work, right? Workplace. It is. It is good etiquette if you say hello to your coworkers good etiquette if you arrive on time good etiquette if you are responsible good etiquette do you understand do you understand more or less what it means etiquette repeat etiquette Etiquette. Etiquette. Okay. Etiquette. etiquette is the rules of behavior, the way that we behave at work. Okay. Normally, there are algunas están escritas en la empresa, en el código de comportamiento de la empresa. Otras no están escritas. Simplemente son something that we do with respect for other people. For example, do you say hello to your boss? Yes? Yes. You say hello to your boss? Yeah, lo saludan? Yes. No? yes, yes. No saludan? Yes. No saludan a su jefe? Do you say hello? Good morning? 
Yes. Yes. Hey, hello. Yes. Okay. Hello. Good morning. Uh, good afternoon. <laughs> good morning. Good evening, Oli. Uh, I was saying that etiquette is showing respect. Okay. It is rules of behavior. Something that you do with respect to your coworkers. Okay. Uh, to respect to, for yourself, respect for your job. For example, being punctual being punctual that is good etiquette good etiquette okay uh, let me see i'm gonna ask everyone give me two rules of etiquette that you have in your workplace two rules for example i say hello to my boss every morning i say hello to my co-workers Todas estas son reglas, normas, eh, buenos modales, we say in Spanish. Okay? Pablo, do you have some? Can you mention one? Alguna regla de, de respeto, una, una regla de comportamiento, something that you do at work, that you... Maybe you show you show respect to your coworkers. Alguna regla de convivencia que tienen en el trabajo, regla de respeto, norma de respeto, etiquette. Es inclu, incluyo, in, inclusión total, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Inclusión, inclusión total. de género, o sea, no, no hay discriminación de género. Ok, uh, pero ya aplicándolo como eh, I, poniendo I, respect. I respect, uh, yes. Everyone. Okay. Uh, yes. Everyone's gender. Ok, puedes decir, I respect everyone's gender. Todo el, el género de todo el mundo, I respect it. Ok. Very good. Wait, let me change. What else? Pablo, do you have one? Uh, minor, do you have one? Uh, a rule or something? Something that you do? I do not discriminate. Okay. I don't discriminate. I don't discriminate. Very good, right? No discriminas. Right? Say, le da de la persona el sexo de la persona, eh, eh, cualquier estatus socioeconómico de la persona, very good, okay? I don't discriminate, okay? That's good, that's good etiquette. Uh, we were talking about saying hello, right? Uh, saying hello, right? Hello, good morning to your boss. Uh, that's good etiquette, right? ¿Qué más? ¿Cómo se comportan ustedes? Things that you do that are respectful. ¿Qué más? Por ejemplo, ¿Mm? Etiqueta de vestimenta. Equal opportunity. Ok, ya, ya voy, voy a poner esa, Luis. Eh, Oli dijo dress. Ok. Dress properly. Vestimenta apropiada. Dress properly. Very good. Okay. Luis, what did you say? Equality opportunity. Okay. Equal opportunity. Equal opportunity. Okay. What I said, right? You give everybody a chance, give everyone an opportunity. Okay. Very good. All right. We're going to read this article here that we have. And this article is going to give us guidelines. Otra palabra importante. Guidelines. ¿Qué quiere decir guidelines? Guidelines. What do you think? Lineamientos. Lineamientos. Very good, Oli. Correct, mm -hmm. right? Something that is there to guide us, right? Guiarnos en el camino, right? So we have rules or etiquette guidelines in the workplace, okay? 
So, vamos a ver, hay varias. Algunas las hacen ustedes, algunas tuvieron que firmar contrato y allí están adentro de ese. Eh, otras fue por respeto que ustedes tienen hacia ustedes mismos, hacia, hacia la empresa, hacia sus coworkers. Ustedes lo hacen. So, let's read it. Ok, now, the way we're going to read is, I'm going to read the article. Ok, yo lo voy a leer. Primero lo voy a leer una sola vez así continuo, ¿ok? Y después vamos a ir paragraph por paragraph, um, understanding the words. If you have questions on the vocabulary, right? Hagan una nota mental for the vocabulary, and then we're going to discuss it. Ok, number one. Good etiquette at the workplace. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines. But the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that's okay. However, habitual late comers are never appreciated in an organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Etiquette is also important when you have communication with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. In the office emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You, can, you also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. In addition, Knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisor. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your coworkers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating, and remember to close your mouth when you chew. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role in your future promotions. Okay. So they're, they're giving us one, two, three, four guidelines. Hablamos de cuatro cosas aquí. Cuatro diferentes temas de etiquette. Okay. So I'm going to read paragraph number one. Lo voy a leer otra vez. Paragraph number one. And you tell me if you have any questions, okay? If you don't understand a particular vocabulary, tell me. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that's okay. However, habitual latecomers are never appreciated in, your, in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Okay? De qué estaban hablando? ¿Cuál era la guideline que nos estaba hablando? To be punctual. Punctualidad. Punctual. 
very pun good punctual punctual right so that's number one Ahí está la, primer, la primera guideline right to be punctual to be on time okay do you have any questions about the vocabulary here in this paragraph alguna palabra do you have any questions hmm? commerce new uh, latecomers uh, late comers. Late comers. However. However. However es una palabra de, de transacción, por ejemplo, cuando decís, eh, sin embargo. However. However, habitual late comers. ¿Qué quiere decir late comers? People that are always late. Right? Habitual, habitualmente, they're always late to work. They are late every day. Okay. What else? Another word? ¿Alguna otra palabra? From here? Okay. All right, let's go to paragraph number two. Okay. Once again, lo voy a leer. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. Okay? ¿Cuál es el tema? For number two. Emails. Emails. Very good, right? Official emails. Okay? Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Here? ¿Alguna palabra? No? Language for email. Uh, one, can you repeat? Hmm? Employees. Employees. For example, Employees. you are. Huh? Employees, yes, sir? Yes? Employees. Mm, employees. No sé si te escucho bien. Yes. Okay, employees. Repeat, employees. Employees are, for example, you. You are an employee. Okay? Employees. Yes, correct. Correct. Okay, what que significa clearly and concise? When you write an email. You should be clearly and concise. Claro, claro y conciso. Yes, very good. Excellent. Okay, let's go to number three. Number three, paragraph three, it says, in addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisor. Listen to what they say carefully. Do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. What is the subject? What is tip number three? Que nos están dando? Knowledge of telephone et etiquette. Telephone etiquette. ¿Qué quiere decir telephone etiquette? What is that? Como la etiqueta de bueno con esta voz, ahora te voy a dejar. What what is phone etiquette? What do you think, Harold? In your words, what do you think? Hmm? Una forma cortés de responder el teléfono, tal vez. Yes, correct, correct. Uh, a formal way, a respectful way of answering the phone, okay? 
All right, very good. Let's go. Do you, uh, do you have any questions for this paragraph three? Vocabulary? Alguna palabra there? What is wrong? Eh, wrong? Wrong es fuerte. No. No. Equivocado. Algo que está equivocado. Uh -huh. Wrong interpretations. It can be like a, a, a misunderstanding. A wrong understanding. Una mala interpretación. Una mal... Um, eh, ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se dice en español? Un malentendido. ¿Ok? Other? Interrupt? Carefully. 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 That means uh, to do it very thoughtfully. For example, uh, listen carefully, right? Pay attention. Como poner bastante atención, right? Pay attention to what's being said. Okay. Any other question? Vocabulary? Okay. No. Eh, eh, la primera donde dice in addiction, knowledge. In addition, coma, mm -hmm. knowledge mm -hmm. of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. So, in addition, es cuando tú estás agregando a un, como en este caso, están agregando el artículo. So they say, in addition, in Spanish we say adicionalmente, mm -hmm. you are adding something. Okay. So es una forma como introducir un nuevo concepto um, al artículo aquí. Okay. All right. Let's go to number three, if not, sorry, number four. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your coworkers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating and remember to close your mouth when you chew. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a vital role uh, for future promotions. Okay, what is it talking about? What is guideline number four? A celebration. Mm, sí, pero no it's, está dando más que solo la celebration. Yes. It's like a celebration when you receive a call, de uh, you be polite. Okay, okay. La, la importancia de, de la etiqueta. Mm -hmm. Importance of etiquette when you're celebrating with your coworkers. Okay. For example, it says, right, to if you have a phone call, if you receive a phone call, say, excuse me, I have to take this call. Excuse me, I have a phone call. Right? No solo te levantas y te vas, right? You say, excuse me. All right. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Questions? Alguna pregunta aquí? Is correct the pronunciation of cho? Eh, true? <laughs> cho? Chu. 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 Aha. Uh -huh. Chu. Chu. Like yes, that. the correct pronunciation is chu. chu. Like. Okay, okay. Suena. A chu. Ah, <laughs> como chu. <laughs> chu. Chu. La w is silent, right? No se escucha la W, but it says chu. Okay. Uh, chu. What, ¿Qué quiere decir chu? What is that? When you're eating. The act of eat right. The act of eating right, correct. When you're eating, right? Masticar, when you're eating the food, mm -hmm. right? It says, remember to close your mouth when you chew, right? So when you're chewing, close your mouth. No estar masticando con la boca abierta, right? Close your mouth when you chew. Okay, excellent. So what, what we're going to do is we're going to answer the questions the questions are reading comprehension, okay? 
question two, one, two, three, and four. Four questions about the article, okay? I'm gonna give you 10 minutes to do that, to work on that in groups, okay? Then, ahí mismo en esos grupos, together, you're going to summarize and give me, give me five etiquette guidelines. De, de qué habló el artículo? Deme en cinco puntos que habló el artículo. Guidelines, okay? Puntuality. Bueno, no, me lo, no lo diga todavía, hasta que esté en el grupo. All right. Pero sí, ese es uno, con Chugales. Teacher. Teacher. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <risa> Dale vos. Ok, teacher, una consulta. ¿Qué diferencia hay entre client y customer? Client and customer. Good question. Good question. Mm, tal vez, lo voy a averiguar más, pero creo que ten, tiene que ver con si tú vendes un producto o un servicio. Ah, ok. Ajá, es que se pueden escribir las dos, co las dos cosas. Sí. Honestamente, puedes usar cualquiera de las dos. Ok. I, I Thank you, teacher. Right? Yo, eh, cuando trabajaba en Telus, call center, nosotros decíamos customer. Si era ven ventas. Si era ventas, okay. decías uh, customer. Okay. Eh, no, perdón. Si era servicios, decíamos customer. Porque ya tiene una cuenta con la empresa. Decíamos okay. customer. Pero si estamos como tratando de vender algo para que se, se afilie a nuestra empresa, le queremos vender un servicio, no tiene contrato con nosotros, entonces decíamos client. Um, ah, okay. well, pero también hay otra diferencia si, por ejemplo, eh, si, tú, si tú tienes una empresa aquí en El Salvador y tú exportas un producto para vender en Estados Unidos, Puede ser un, I have a client over there. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Sí, esas palabras, buena pregunta. Hay mucho diferente uso de eso. Y depende muchas veces de que tu rubro, tu, tu servicio, producto. Okay. ok. Very good. Let's go. So we're going to do the reading comprehension questions and we're going to do summarize. Five points. Ok. Teacher, mi, mi pregunta solo era, entendí la parte de hacer las, las cinco guidelines, uh -huh. pero dijo algo antes, ¿verdad? Que tiene sí. que ser algo más antes. Aquí hay unas preguntas, no sé si tú puedes ver mi pantalla. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, question number one, two, three, four. Esas son preguntas. Son eh, elegir. Tienes que ah, elegir okay. aquí de las opciones que hay, contestar esas pre cuatro preguntas. Gracias. Que son comprensión, lo que tú entendiste del, del artículo. Ok, let's go to Gracias. groups. Let's go to groups now. Uh, we have 13 people. Hagamos grupos de tres, dos y tres. Ok, let's go. Ana, eh, acepte la invitación, please, para ir al grupo. Los puntos 4, 4 creo que son. Pero además de eso, no sé, porque como acaba de entrar, ¿qué más hay eh, que hacer? Es, es como contestar las preguntas de, eh, conforme a lo, la lectura anterior, eh, eh, David, y a, a hacer, eh, como decirte, cinco... O, o por decirlo así, eh, ahí se me va la palabra, eh, buscar cinco. Eh, Los cinco puntos ya están en el artículo. Ajá, o sea, buscarlos en el artículo. Solo nombrarlos. Nombrar, ajá, correcto. Y las ah. primeras son cuatro preguntas de siempre referente al artículo de la lectura anterior. Yes. Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. okay. Question number one, estamos en la página 35, 35, page 35. Question number one, if you know you are late, you should, what should you do? 
A, compensate the time. B, call the person you report to. C, not to do nothing about it. A. Minor. ¿Qué decía el artículo? Be punctual es el primer paragraph, ¿verdad? Yes. El tema del primer paragraph era punctual. Punctual. Entonces, uh, lean, si quieren lean a, junto. Little a. 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 Compensate the time. No. No decía eso. But most important is the punctuality of the office. Uh, la Z, T, not, uh, no, la, la, no. Mm, B, sería B. What is D? What does it say? Call the person you report to. Call the person you report to, yes. Right? Porque al final dice, la, la última oración de ese primer paragraph, dice, uh, if you know person, that you... You, you report to. Yes, call the person you report to. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Okay. Number two. So number one is B. B. Okay. Number two, what is a tip to apply in offices, official emails? Okay. C E T. Express the sub. Express the sub. Clear. Sí. Es la A. La B, perdón. La, la B. B. What is mm -hmm. a tip to apply in the official emails? A. Send the mail in English. Recibir una llamada. Carlos, eh, mm -hmm. if you receive a call will, uh, es, uh, will you, you are earning win cockers, cockers, you sure to work with. Okay, if you receive a call while you're eating with co-workers, you should. Yeah. Can I see The recommendation. Let us see. Leave the table and answer the call. Answer the call. Yes, this is, leave the table and answer the call. Correct. But remember, it said, say, please excuse me. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, very good. Finish with the questions. Yeah. Yes. Number one, cual, cual era? What do you have for number one? Questions. Little B. Number B. one, B. Call the person B. you report to, correct. Number two? C. Number two, letter C. What is a tip to apply Redders. in office emails? A, send the email in English. B, use a long salutation. C, express the subject clearly, correct. Express the subject clearly. Number three. Which is Number not good B. etiquette B. when talking on the phone? B. Speak using clear voice. Interrupt the other person. Interrupt yes, correct. B. The person. B. Yes. Okay, so summarize. ¿Cuál eran? Deme cinco puntos. Habían más de cinco, pero give me five points. Guidelines. Punctuality. Number one. Punctuality. Punctuality. Pero, ¿qué decía acerca de punctuality? Eh? Deme en algún punto de, de lo que decía acerca de punctuality. What did it say? ¿Algún eh. tip? Era, eh, um, ¿cómo que se eh, eh, Era era un lineamiento de puntualidad como como un, un una regla. Be punctual. You show you show not eh, 
Llegar, uh, Habían varias cosas que decía acerca del tema punctuality. Right? ¿Me pueden dar uno? Can you give me one? Of, respect the organization. Respect, okay. Being punctual shows that you respect the organization. Very good. If you are late, what are you supposed to do? Esa ya la contestaron. La pregunta que les estoy haciendo ya la contestaron previamente en el, el número uno. Uh -huh. Call the person you report to. Ahí está. Eso es algo acerca de punctuality. Very good. Ok, ya no les hablo español, eh, en inglés. No more English. That's it. Hablemos español, ya no inglés. Yes. Ok. Go. What is another point? Paragraph number two. Si me import, import email. Emil, Emil. Yeah, Ahí gracias. estamos. <risa> qué bueno. Qué, hey, chico, qué buena onda. <risa> sí, de veras que sí. Vaya, ok, ahora eh, me decías, Carla, ¿qué estamos haciendo? Va, en la página 35. Ya, yeah, ok. Eh, bueno, el teacher nos leyó el, eh, todo el párrafo que dice Good Etiquette. At the workplace. Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces hay que leerlo y comprender. Y en base a eso, contestar las preguntas que están abajo, que son cuatro preguntas. Con tres opciones cada una. Uh -huh. Entonces, si querés, este, te, te, te decimos las preguntas. No, no se detengan. Una... Mi recomendación es que ustedes sigan y que Alex brinque. Eh, okay. Sigan ah, adelante va. ustedes. Uh -huh. Entonces tenemos que hacer ya las cinco oraciones. Ok. Cinco, so, los cinco summarize. puntos. Uh -huh. Correct. Uh -huh. De los que Entonces, trató el artículo. Exactly. De los que trató el artículo. Uh -huh. Va, yo tengo dos. Uno es do not number talk. One. Number one. <laughs> do not talk lowly while eating. Ok, ok. That's good. That's okay. a good point. Uh, number two, uh -huh. remember to close your mouth when you chew. Okay, that's another point. Very good. Another point Faltan that you have, Luis? Um, uh, emails on this. Okay. What do you think? Um, for example, um, when you speak, the avoid wrong interpretations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ver. When you speak, avoid wrong Hello. interpretation. So, so how, how should you speak? How should you speak? How you should it? you speak? Uh -huh. How? Come. How should you speak? How should you speak? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, clearly, um, be concise. Very good, Carla. That's correct. You're You have to speak clearly and concise. Very okay. good. Okay. Um, um, language correct and grammatical for email. Mm -hmm. Correct. Use correct email, right? Correct uh, grammar. Very good. ¿Qué más? Había varios. A lot. Uh, for example, the ethical. Mm -hmm. Etiquette guidelines. Mm -hmm. Habían varias. Um, Correct. Um, no, for example, um, um, de como por ejemplo, teacher, no interrumpir cuando alguien más está hablando mm, o no okay. interferir. ¿Dónde está eso? In the paragraph. Look. Um, three. Number three, paragraph three. And, okay. and do not interrupt. Mm -hmm. Okay, entonces lee esa oración que dice ahí. Listen to what they, uh, they say carefully. No, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Mm -hmm. carefully. 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 Mm -hmm. carefully. Carefully. 
and do not in interrupt. Very good, Luis. Very good. Sí, Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Excellent. Good job. So, ¿cuántas tienen ya? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Okay. Very good. Okay, we're going to go back now in one minute. Okay, Carla. Mm -hmm. Tú dijiste la primera, remember to close, to close? La primera, la primera es do not talk loudly when do not eating. talk. While. Do not while. talk loudly. Okay, while loudly. Eating. While eating. Eating. While e eating. Mm -hmm. La okay, otra es, es uh -huh. la otra es remember to close to your close. mouth. Your mom? When you chew. Que es recuerda ah, okay. cerrar la boca cuando comes. Ah, eh, okay. Vos dijiste Thanks. la otra, use correct grammar. La otra, ah, eh, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. Um, yes, and the correct. Okay, very good. Let's uh, let's go over the, the this exercise. Okay, let me share my computer. Okay, number one, if you know you are late, you should a compensate the compensate the time. B call the person you report to. C not do anything about it. Which one? Call. Call the person, call the person you, report you report to. Correct. Call the person you report <laughs> to. B. That is correct. Excellent. Good job. Number two. Uh, Omar. Number two. What is a tip? Uh, a play. A play in to apply. official email. Repeat. Apply. Apply. Mm -hmm. To apply in the of official emails, mm -hmm. send the mails in English, use a long salut salut salutation, salutation, express the so salutation, express the subject clearly, express the subjects clearly. Good, good job, Omar. Excellent. Okay. Three. Eh, who wants to do three? Eh, alguien que estaba aquí cuando estaba leyendo el article. Eh, Carla, you can do number three. Carla Maria. Number three, which is not good etiquette when talking on the phone. Speak using clear voice. Interrupt the other speaker. Mm -hmm. Use polite language. B. Interrupt the other speaker. Very good. This is correct, right? Because it, because it says, look, which is not good etiquette. Correct. And number four, uh, who was here? Danilo, number four. Okay. If you receive a call while you are eating while co-workers, you should ignore the call and continue eating. There will be answer the call at the table. Mm -hmm. Literal C, leave the table and answer the call. For me, it's the literal C. Yes, correct. Leave the table and answer the call. Okay, good job. Excellent. Let's go to the next one now. For exercise number three, I told you to give me some points. Give me some points of good etiquette. Of good etiquette. So uh, let's see. Uh, you can you can give them to me, okay? No lo voy a escribir todos, but let's see. Let's let, who wants to go? Who wants to give me one? One rule. Minor, you want to give me one? What is one rule of etiquette that you learned? Um, Um, etiquette uh, punctual. Ah, be punctual. Be punctual. 
Punctual. Very punctual. good. Very good. Excellent. Uh, who else was here? Crisia, give me one rule of etiquette. Del artículo, ¿verdad? Lo que leímos. Give me one rule of etiquette. Be organization. Be organized, okay. Be organized. Ese no estaba aquí en el artículo, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo no? ¿Estaba ahí? Sí. Ah, okay, I don't remember. ¿Dónde estaba? Por ahí. En el paragraph. Por one. ahí. <laughs> Por ahí. <laughs> number one. Ah, yes. Paragraph number one. Number one. Habito sí. late, commerce, y nada, pues. In Aquí está, después de in any organization. Uh -huh. <laughs> es, uh, I believe you. <laughs> no lo encuentro, pero I believe you. But most important uh, is to be punctual in your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, it's okay. However, habitual latecomers are never appreciated in any organization. Ah. Tú tomaste esta palabra, organization, y la adaptaste. Aquí en este contexto, organization significa la empresa por la cual tú trabajas. The company. Okay. Okay. But, ese es un buen punto de todo modo, aunque no estaba ahí. Be organized. Right? Be polite. Be punctual. Okay. ¿Quién más? ¿Algún otro? David, no sé si tú leíste el artículo. O llegaste tarde, eh, I'm not sure. Eh, so, más o menos. Okay. Eh, be respons responsible. Be responsible, very good. Luis, do you have one? Use correct grammatical language. Use correct grammatical language, very good. Okay, Francisco, were you there? No sé si leíste ese artículo. Yes, yes. Okay. What is one rule of etiquette that you learned from there? Uh, I write, if you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me. Yes, very good. Say, excuse me. Uh -huh. excuse Maria, me. do you have another rule? Respect. Respect. Respect what? Respectar que? En general? Respect. Respect um, co-workers. With partner, par, partner, I was <laughs> Ah, re respect your partner? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. all right, good, good. Okay, so, hay varias reglas, right? So, etiquette is something that we use all the time. Now, el artículo decía algo, no sé si captaron. Telephone. Did you see? Telephone etiquette. Okay, so it was giving you some important tips. No, no tocó mucho el tema, pero sí lo mencionó. Telephone etiquette is very essential in the workplace, very important. Okay, ¿cuántos cuánto de ustedes contestan teléfonos at work? En hmm? móvil, hay un móvil. Okay, very good. You work for Mobistar, so you're answering the phones, right? ¿Quién más contesta teléfonos? Mi teacher. Uh -huh. Ok. Very good. Mi teacher. Ok. ¿Nunca les ha caído una llamada en inglés? Never. ¿Cómo ah. oh, no? No. Sí. Yes. A mí sí. Ok. Very good. So, what, what, what happened? Bueno, te voy a enseñar ahora how you can respond. How can you respond in that situation, right? So you feel nervous. Oh yes, of course. I yes. understand. I yes. said so no speaking English. I asked. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm not speaking English. Uh, okay. Okay, so I I'm going Francis. to give you I'm going to give you some information, some different phrases. Frases que podemos usar. Todas son bien eh, bien respetuosas, bien profesionales. Okay, so let me show you the let me show you the presentation. Okay. Okay, telephone expression. Okay, expressions. Now, eh, ustedes 
saben que la llamada tiene diferentes etapas, right? Uh, so we say in English, call flow. Decimos call flow. Uh, different stages of the call. Diferentes etapas de la llamada, okay? Greetings. Greeting expressions. This is the first thing you say. Thank you for calling Walmart. My name is Carlos. How can I help you? Ah, you can say that. Right? Solo pónganle el nombre de su empresa ahí. Thank you for calling Pepsi. My name is Carlos. How can I help you today? Yeah? That's the first thing. ¿Quién quiere probar esa? Carla, you want to go? Thank you for calling. calling. My name and then himself. change it. How can I help you today? Carla Maria, you want to go? Oh, Dale. Uh, the first. The first one. Thank you for calling Lipsmar. My name is Carla. How can I help you today? Excellent. Good job. Good job. Luis, do it. You can do it. Thank you for calling Pepsi. My name is Gustavo. How can I help you today? How can I help you today? How Very can good. I help you today? Okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Another thing that you can do. Good afternoon. How can I help you? Okay. Ese puede ser el teléfono presencial. Good afternoon. How can I help you? Okay. Another one. Good morning. What can I do for you today? Okay. Los que reciben clientes a su tienda, a su, a su empresa. ¿Cómo, cómo, los, ¿Cómo los reciben? Reading. Good morning. What can I do for you today? Okay. Or maybe a telephone. Hello. This is Carlos speaking. Right? ¿Cómo puedes contestar en el teléfono? Hello. This is Maria speaking. Right? Te estás presentando in the telephone. Okay? ¿Han usado alguna otra ustedes? In English? ¿Han usado alguna Who's otra? Calling. Who's calling? Okay. All right. Very good. Eh, tal vez no como de inicial, in, eh, lo primero, sino que primero vas a decir hello, right? Good. Hello. Thank you for calling. Empresa tal. Uh, but then you can ask to give, ask more for more information. Okay, another one, asking for another person. Okay. Now, si tú estás hablando a otro lugar, you can say, hello, is Mr. Smith available? Estoy buscando otra persona. Hello, is Mr. Smith available? Can I speak with Mr. Smith, please? Could I speak to Mr. Johnson, please? Would you mind if I speak to Mr. Thomas? Could you transfer me to the sales department? Okay. Si tú estás buscando a otra persona. All right. Another one. Explaining the reason for your call. Tú vas a explicar por qué estás llamando. I am calling because. I am calling because. I am calling to follow up on. ¿Qué quiere decir follow up? Es una palabra muy importante en business. English. What does it mean? Follow up. Hmm? It's when you say in Spanish, um, le estoy dando seguimiento. seguimiento. Exacto. Follow up. I'm calling to follow up. Very good. The reason for my call is... And you explain. The reason for my call is, and you can explain. Very good. Another one. Placing someone on hold. Can you hold for a moment, please? Nunca han tenido que poner una persona en espera? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. ¿Cómo lo ponen? Solo le, lo cortan ni un solo, no, right? Moment, please. <laughs> yes, one moment, please. Very good. Moment, okay. please. Hold for a moment, please. Could you hold for a moment, please? Right? No, no pueden ni un solo cortarlo. Right? That's bad phone etiquette, right? That's bad. 
Uh, number two, do you mind if I put you on hold for a second? Do you mind if I put you on hold for a second? ¿Te acuerdas que usamos esta palabra? Do you mind? Solo que nosotros usamos would you mind, remember? Usamos en esta, en esta semana lo usamos. Would okay. you mind, yes, teacher. Ajá. Esta, esto es como si, si le molesta. It's like when we say in Spanish, le molestaría sí. Ok. Te molesta sí. Would you mind if I put you on hold for a second? Te importaría sí. Uh -huh. Exacto. O si le molesta. Le, le, mire, le molesta que. Ok, very good. Can you hold while I look up that information, please? Ok. Tal vez tienes que verificar alguna información. Can, uh, can or could. La única diferencia de can and could, could es un poquito más respetuoso. But it's okay. Las dos son formal. Can you hold while I look for that information, please? Okay. Usted allí pone la persona en espera, right? And you verify the information. Okay. Very good. Preguntas? Questions? Phrases? Okay. Next, asking who is calling. Esa es la que decía Alexander. Can I ask you who is calling, please? Okay. Who may I say is calling? Who should, who should I say is calling? Y como decía Alex, who's calling? Okay. Solo que esa Alex suena como un poquito muy directo. ¿eh? Tal vez quiere ser un poquito más respetuoso. You want to say... Uh, can I ask who's calling, please? Okay. Very good. Another phrase. Clarification. Let me see. Me brinqué una. No. Ah, asking for a message. Okay. Como, por ejemplo, María. ¿Tomas mensajes tú? Do you take messages? Mm -hmm. ¿Toman mensaje alguno de ustedes para pasárselo a Yes. Yes, okay. So you can say, I'm sorry, Mr. Johnson is not in the office. Can I take a message? Repeat, Maria. Read the first one. Uh, sorry? Lee la primera, la primera oración. Que okay. Es lo que tú puedes hacer en ese caso. I am sorry, Harrison is not in the office. Can I take a message? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Correct. Can I take a message? A message. Uh -huh. Correct. Good. Do you mind leaving a message? Mr. Johnson is away from his desk. Do you mind leaving a message? Okay. Eh, regresamos a esa misma frase. Do you mind? Okay. Ah, le repito. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. okay. Solo quería incorporarte porque sé que tú haces esto. Eh, ya vamos a hacer una actividad. Con ah, okay. Esto. Can I take a message, please? Can I take a message, please? I'm sorry, Mr. Harvey is not in the office right now. Can I take a message? Otra forma de decirlo. Would you mind leaving a message? Esta la usamos. ¿Se acuerdan que usamos esta esta semana? Would you mind? Y después usamos verb ing. Would you mind leaving a message? Okay. All right. Clarification. Ah, no le entendí. ¿Qué dijo? Ah. I'm sorry. Can you repeat that, please? I'm sorry. Can you repeat that, please? Can you say that again, please? Uh, sometimes, if you don't understand the name, could you spell that for me? Could you spell that for me? Letrear. Yo quiero que la persona me pueda letrear el nombre de ella. Can you spell that for me, please? Okay. When you finish the call, ya vamos a terminar la llamada. Finish the call. Thank you for calling Walmart. Have a great day. Thank you for your call. It was a pleasure speaking with you. It was nice to talk to you. Thank you for your call. Have a great day. Enjoy your day. Okay. 
despidos formales, right? Que pueden decir bye. Sí, pero bye es un poquito, eso yo lo digo si estoy hablando con, con alguien conocido. Bye. Okay. See you later. No, tampoco. That's in, informal. Okay? The correct way is any of these. Okay? Okay, very good. Uh, questions? Una pregunta sobre esto? Okay, let's take attendance and then we're going to do two activities today. Okay? One activity is going to be phone etiquette and the other one is going to be la que está en el libro, la actividad que sigue en el libro. Pero primero vamos a hacer una actividad así. Uh, let's do attendance first and then I'm going, to, I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. Okay, turn on your cameras, please. Attendance. Okay. Uh, today is class number, perdón, 14. Class number 14. Okay. All right, very good. Alex, Alexander. Hi, Jaime. Jaime Alexander, I see you. Danilo, Alfredo. Present. Carla Stephanie. Eh, Luis Gustavo. Eh, me... Present teacher. Ahí está. Tú me, me acabas de escribir, ¿verdad? Tuviste un problema. Connection. Alba yes, Nubia. Present teacher. David Antonio. Present teacher. Harold Alexander. Haro Alexander. Eh, Francisco Javier. Present teacher. Ana Romelia. Present teacher. María. Present teacher. Eh, Carla María. Present teacher. Crisia. Present teacher. Okay, I see you. Omar Arturo. Present teacher. Oli. Present teacher. Minor Antonio. What? <laughs> Perdón. Minor Otoniel, not Antonio. Otoniel. <laughs> Present teacher. <laughs> Pablo Ernesto. Present. <laughs> and Manuel Alberto. Manuel, are you here? Manuel Alberto. Okay. All right, very good. So, what are we going to do? Ese documento se lo voy a pasar en WhatsApp, okay? Uh, para que ustedes puedan revisar esas frases. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a hacer una conversación, okay? Una persona va a ser el customer, otra persona va a ser eh, la recepcionista, okay? O la persona contestando el teléfono, okay? Tienen que usar las phrases para crear una conversación. Puede ser algo como buscando una persona, eh, porque quiero hablar con él, y no está. Ah, ok, can you, can you leave a message? Yes, I can leave a message. Eh, ¿Cuál es el mensaje? Aquí está el mensaje. Ok, thank you. Have a good day. Ok. Entonces, quiero que usen las frases. Ustedes pueden agregar alguna frase. No se preocupen, pueden agregar. Pueden hacer una conversation, okay? And, uh, and try to use uh, phone etiquette, okay? Modales de teléfono, you know, saying hello, thank you, you're welcome, everything. Okay, so let's go to groups, groups of two people. Okay. Uh, Casi todos los grupos van a tener dos personas. Solo un grupo creo que me va a quedar con tres personas. Pero quiero que puedan trabajar así, ¿all right? Eh, les voy a pasar el documento en, en WhatsApp para que lo puedan revisar, pero pueden empezar su conversación. ¿Ok? Eh, we have 30 minutes to do this conversation. And we're going to present. ¿Ok? So, hagamos, eh, trabajemos por 20 minutos Presentemos la conversación 10 minutos. ¿Cómo vamos a presentar la conversación? Aquí, juntos, todos. Todos los vamos a escuchar aquí, a ustedes, su conversación. All right. 
Very good. Uh, Ma uh, Manuel Alberto, are you here? Está aquí? Attendance? Yeah, teacher. I see okay. you. Okay. Está dormido. All right, I see you. So, creo que con Manny, let me see, we have, no, we still have 15 people. All right, let's go to groups. Carlos, no ah. ha enviado la invitación. No le he puesto. Estamos, no estamos todos esperando. <laughs> Sorry. Ok, me di cuenta de una cosa. Word, eh, perdón, este, el documento en PowerPoint no se puede ver en WhatsApp. I, eh, entonces lo voy a convertir en, en PDF. Ok, se lo voy a mandar, pero como en PDF. All right, so, sorry, vamos a hacer la conversation, ok. And I'm going to send you the document.
Nubia. Meléndez. Meléndez. Ajá, entonces podría ser así, vea. Good afternoon, my name is Carla. I talk with Miss Meléndez. Yes. Y luego... Explaining the reason for mm. your call. A ver, ¿qué más? Mm, sí, verdad. Um, I am calling because the reason for my call is ah, puede ser esa, se oye más bonita. And the reason yeah. for my call is the reason for my call is um, qué podemos poner de la de qué yeah. esta empresa no había o en qué trabaja farmacia quién va a contestar quién va a hacer la reception no. Pablo. Pablo es el, ajá. Ok, entonces. Y yo ¿cómo? estoy buscando a Nubia. Ok, ¿y qué, y Ay, ¿qué no pasa? Ver. ¿Y Nubia para que ella pueda compartir y hablar? ¿Qué va a hacer ella? Entonces lo que puedes hacer es que. Tal vez cuando, contestarme. Cuando ella conteste, ajá. le puedes dejar un mensaje corto. Como algún mensaje corto como el que hicimos ayer en el email. ¿Algún mensaje corto? Eh, hello, eh, Nubia. Eh, my name is Carla. I'm calling you from blah, blah, blah. Eh, I just wanted to give you a message. The message is... Aquí está el mensaje. Ok. Y Alba, tú puedes recibir ese mensaje. Ok. Hacer alguna pregunta si es necesario. Y después terminar la llamada. ¿Ya? Yeah? Okay. Para, en ese caso, para que ah, pueda hablar okay. también Nubia, para, para que sea un, un trío, ¿verdad? Ok. Very good, very good. Ok. So, guarden tiempo. Look, it's nine. Let, let's, let's work to about 9.20. Ok. At 9.20, we finish. Ok. Y así, güey. Sí, sería. Sí. Eh, le pongo también cómo se encuentra, ¿verdad? Good morning. Ay. Calling. Ay, ¿cómo se llama? Calling. Of. ¿Cómo se llama su empresa? Corporación Dental. Ok, Corporación good. Dent Solo le voy a dar un tip. Eh, guarden el tiempo, porque si van a escribir toda la conversación, no van a tener tiempo. Algunas partes simplemente la van a tener que hacer. Lean las frases, fíjense las frases. No todo lo van a poder escribir, no les va a dar tiempo. ¿Ok? So, miren las frases. Lo que pasa es que no hemos, no hemos decidido cuál va a ser la conversación. O sea... <risa> Puede ser un ser tema el... pequeño. No, eso, lo, eso es lo más fácil. Le voy a dar el tema entonces yo. ¿Ok? Ajá. Tema, ¿quién, va, ¿Quién va a llamar? ¿Quién va a contestar? Yo. Mary. María, tú Mary. vas a contestar. Tú vas a hacer la reception. Oh, bueno. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, so, ah, entonces, okay. Mary. Good morning. Uh, no, entonces, ¿quién va? tú vas a contestar, María. Tú vas a ser la primera que va a hablar. Thank you for calling Walmart. My name is Maria. How can I help you today? Okay. Omar, ah, okay. tú estás llamando porque estás buscando a tal persona. Uh -huh. Pero esa persona no está. Entonces, uh -huh. Maria is going to take a message. You're going to leave a message. Y, y el message puede ser cualquier cosa. Algo corto. A message. Okay. Uh -huh. And then you're going to um, ask 
for any anything else and then close the call finish the call ahí está cómo le puedo decir de que que le diga que me llame ah come on you can do it you can do it I can't help you you have to do it ah entonces yo empezaría teacher como uh, time for you calling dental corporation mm -hmm. my name is Mary mm -hmm. Sí. Thank you for calling Dental Corporation. My name is Mari. How can I help you? Uh -huh. Ahí están las frases okay. en WhatsApp. Look at WhatsApp. Ahí okay. le mandé las frases, the pictures. Yeah. Which document do I need to, to get a credit? Which document do I need to get a credit? Okay, very good. So the conversation. How is your conversation going? Uh, it's almost final. Okay. For example, so, in that case, we have, uh, for example, I am the agent. Mm -hmm. And hello. Thank you for calling Banco Agricola. Mm -hmm. How can I help you today? Mm -hmm. uh, and I then, have, I'm calling because I want to need a shoe. Okay. Un seguro. Huh? No. Está buscando qué? The schedule. The schedule. Uh -huh. Schedule. Yes. A schedule. A schedule. Okay. Okay. I am looking yes. for. In my case. Mm -hmm. In my case, I say, of course, it's opening at 5 a.m. and closing at 5 p.m. Ah, okay. And Entonces, then, pues, uh, agregarle esta palabra. I'm uh -huh. calling to to find out your office schedule. Okay. Thank you for calling. Okay. Okay. Hit you. Hello. I calling. Because I want, I want to know, quiero saber, I want to know. Okay. I, I want to know, uh -huh. I want to know the, the schedule. I want to know, the, uh -huh. puede decir the schedule, or puede, para, para ser un poquito más específico, I want to know your business schedule or your office schedule okay your office mm -hmm. schedule okay mm -hmm. it's okay and then uh, uh, sorry which documents do i need to get a uh, credit is correct teacher mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so you hasta ahí vamos hasta ahí van. Okay, so you can answer that question, responder esa pregunta, answer the question with the documents that he needs for a credit. And then, si ya no tiene más preguntas, you can say, can I help you with something else? Or uh, is there anything else I can help you with? ¿Le uh -huh. puede ayudar uh -huh. otra, con otra cosa o necesita otra cosa? Do you need something uh -huh. else? Do you need something else? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And okay, then, okay. if he says no, then you finish the call. Mm -hmm. I think all because the time is over. Yes, le voy a dar un poquito más de tiempo. So till nine, try to work on this conversation until nine thirty, a las nueve y media. Okay. And then ah, we're going okay. to present after that. Okay. Okay. So I'll give you more time. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Chivo, entonces Manuel. Mason, please. I'm sorry, Mrs. Harvey is not in the office right now. Can I text a message? Okay. Okay. What is the meaning? Leaving a message. Okay, very good. So, okay. ¿quién está llamando y quién, está, eh, quién va a ser el receptionist? ¿Quién va a contestar la llamada? ¿Quién va a hacer la llamada? Eh, es... Estamos eh, ahorita repasando toda la presentación. No, eso no dije que van a hacer. 
<ríe> no están haciendo. <ríe> Son el... ah, pues yo, ah, pues yo le dije, yo me equivoqué, yo le dije a Alexander que era repetir y después hacer la conversación. No. Alexander no, no. ya la tiene lista. No, pero Alexander ya la tiene lista. Ok, pero los dos tienen que hablar en la conversación. Sí. Ok, Al... let me see, quiero escuchar. Ok. okay. Good morning, greetings, Alexander. I'm calling you because I want to talk to Carlos. No, later. ya iniciaron mal, porque la que tiene que contestar primero es Oli. Hello, thank you for calling Movistar. My name is Oli. How can I help you? Ah, y yes. después, hey. Alex, usted va a responder, le va a explicar lo que necesita. Ok. Ok, tienen 10 minutos. Oli. You first. Hello. Okay. Van a presentar en frente de todos. No. Es que, es que Mira, Carlos. Acá, okay, hello. Tell me. Okay. Okay, thank you you for calling um, already Brussels. Okay, están trabajando en la conversación? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, ¿quién va a llamar y quién va a contestar? Yo I eh, call. Yo. Tú vas a contestar, Cris. Entonces, ¿cómo vas a contestar? Era al revés. Yo iba. Ah, sí, yo voy a contestar. Tienes razón. No contesto, sí. Ok. Ok. Gracias por llamar. Claro, no. El Salvador. Mi nombre es Crisia. ¿Cómo puedo ayudarte hoy? Bien. Minor? Hello, hello Crisia, good morning. Te quedaste en blanco, what happened? No, yeah. Hello Crisia, good morning. Uh, I want uh, information about your uh, phone promotion. Okay, Mr. Minor. We have two promotions. Could you explain to me one, the content of this? The first is a Samsung cell phone, and the second is a Huawei cell phone. What will? I am more interested in Samsung. Eh, hasta ahí tenemos ahorita, teacher. Ok, ok. Eh, Le puedo dar una recomendación. Eh, lo que pueden hacer es que... Eh, hacer una, una conversación que ustedes están buscando a otra persona. Ah, eh, por, por ejemplo, Minor, tú estás buscando a fulano de tal. Eh, él no está. Eh, entonces, uh, can I take a message? Yes, uh, mm -hmm. here's the message. And then you give them the message. And can I help you with something else? No, that's, that's it. And then you finish the call. Solo, teacher, eh, una pregunta. ¿En Stereo Steel está bien o se dice de diferente forma? ¿El qué? Para okay. decir, me interesa en Stereo Steel. I am interested in. Interesting. Uh -huh. Para decir, okay. yo estoy interesado en. ¿Eso es lo que quieres decir? Ajá. I am interested sí, porque, in. Ah, ok. Sí, esa pronunciación quería ver. Interesting. Ok. Okay, solo que eh, yo les recomiendo cambiar un poquito la conversación. Que tú estás buscando por otra persona y no está. En you leave a message. Ajá, estaba pensando tal vez agregarle acá, eh, tal vez a, por consultarle a Crisia por algún otro vendedor que ya me había atendido antes o cuestiones así. Puede ser, ajá, puede ser algo así. O dejar un mensaje acerca de cualquier tema. Ah, ok. Porque si se empiezan a preguntar sobre el producto, van a estar ahí. <laughs> Bastante. Okay. You know, a, a lot. It's going to be a long, long conversation. It's going to be more difficult. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Ah, pues, podemos poner... Quiero... Este... Quiero hablar con... Carla. Sí, podría, con, 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 sí. ¿Puedo 
I knew speak. I want equal to Carla. Yeah. I'm sorry. Aquí le podría cambiar yo, Carla, o sea, decirle, sorry, eh, I would need to tell to Carla o, o Mario. Eh, y ahí usted ya interactuamos lo que decía el teacher, de que usted me decía si estaba o si no estaba para dejarle algún mensaje. Sí, usted puede decir... Uh, can, can I talk to Carla? Can I talk to Carla? I don't need to talk to. Eh, yo le puedo decir not. Not. You, you need, you need to listen. Oh, thank you. Y ahí finaliza, ¿verdad? Okay. Entonces, quedaría hello. Uh, thank you, Colin. Claro, my name is Crisia. My name is Crisia. How can I help you today? Hello, Christia. Good morning. I want you information about your phone promotion. No iba a decir ay, que quería hablar con Carla. I can I talk to Carla? Por eso, o sea, entonces cambiaríamos todo lo que ya habíamos escrito. Cambiamos todo eso. Sí. Mejor cambiémoslo para que sea más corto. Ok. Eso sería... Eh, hello, Clicia, good morning. Eh, could I speak with Carla? Eh, not... Not... Not fun. You need to... Uh, listen. Yes. Um, ¿Qué mensaje le podría dejar? Oh, no, thank you. Pero sería muy corto, o sea, corto. solo decirle, uh, no, no, thank you for your attention. Uh, um, o tal vez decirle... Eh, que me llame pronto, ¿verdad? Ajá, que se comunicara conmigo, sería... Ahí. Ok, voy, yes, voy a cerrar los grupos para, para que regresemos. Les voy a presentar yo una conversación como ejemplo y después ustedes pueden seguir mejorando la suya. Entonces. Ok, very good. Now, le voy a dar más tiempo, ok? But, I want, you, I want you to consider an example, ok? Let me share my computer with you, right? Y le voy a mostrar un ejemplo de cómo pueden hacer esto. Ok? Let me, let me do the conversation, right? Voy a hacer las dos personas a la misma vez, pero ustedes pueden, tienen... A and B, right? 
Hello, thank you for calling Walmart. My name is Jennifer. How can I help you today? Yes, my name is John Mitchell. The reason for my call is that I need to speak to Mr. Johnson about the new contract. Let me check if he's in the office. Can you hold for a second? Yes, no problem. Hello, Mr. Mitchell. Mr. Johnson is not in the office at this time. Would you mind leaving a message? Yes, please tell Mr. Johnson to call me as soon as he can because I have a question about the new contract. Thank you, Mr. Mitchell. I will give him the message. Can I help you with something else? No, that will be all. Thank you very much. Thank you for calling Walmart. Have a wonderful day. Pregunta? Questions? Right? So, simplemente está recibiendo una llamada. La persona quiere hablar con alguien, no está. Leave a message. Take the message. Uh, can I help you with something else? No, thank you. That's it. All right. Finish the call. Okay? ¿Quieren que le mande esto? <laughs> What's up? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Solo que no copien esto. Com copien, no, no copien. <laughs> no copien, perdón, copien. O no sea, copy. hello. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oli va a ser Hi. la primera que va a presentar. No. Very <laughs> good, teacher. Very good. Eso pasa cuando solo hablan inglés, ya se le olvida el español. Sí, se, se, no es speak Spanish. Estoy pensando en como tres idiomas ahorita. Ok. No, yes, that's, es verdad, es verdad, porque paso hablando inglés todo el día. Ok. All right, look. Eh, háganla simple. Eh, no pregunten sobre servicios y productos porque se van a, va a ser muy largo. Ok. Van a estar ahí todo el día preguntando sobre servicios y cuánto cuesta y, y productos. No, sino que tomen un mensaje, busquen a alguien, den el mensaje, eh, phone etiquette, ¿ok? El propósito de esto es que usen phone etiquette, ¿ok? All right, very good. So let's go back to groups. I'm going to give you 10 more minutes so that you can practice and then we're going to present, ¿ok? Okay, let's go to groups, wait. Who can you play? Alexander. Yeah, okay. He. Um, yes, my name is Alexander. The reason for my call is that I need to speak to Mr. Johnson about the new contract. Mr. Johnson. Okay. No, pero es que no íbamos a copiar esa, íbamos a hacer la misma que nosotros teníamos. No, solo de leerla. Este mm. no vamos a leer. El, nuestra conversación ya está. Ok, let me hear it. Let me hear it. Practice here. 
practice. Yeah, it's true. Car, pero es la de nosotros, Alexander. No es esta. Este es un ejemplo. Dice, ¿Verdad, Carlos? Nosotros? Sí, sí, la que le mandé son un ejemplo. Usted, usted ah, okay. la suya. Ah, okay. nosotros, la que nosotros tenemos es la que vamos a decir. Ok, hey, Leila, presenten entonces. la suya. Okay. Si es algo similar, si es algo así, como una, esto es solo una guía, pero presenten la suya. Presenten It's su identity. Ah, yeah, okay. Okay. ok, good. Ok, practice. <laughs> ok. <laughs> Hello, uh, thank you you calling uh, Movistar. My name is Oli. Solo que la letra está muy chiquita y no veo. My Nelly, my, no, no, no voy a ocupar esta porque no, no veo bien. Thank you for calling a uh, Movistar. My name is Oli. Who can I help me? I'll help you today. I'm calling you. I call you because I want to talk. Uh, Carlos Basic Level 3, Teacher, Corporate English. Okay, could you hold for a moment, please? B, B. Alex. Es tu turno, sí. tú me dices ahí después de que yo te he esperado. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Usted tiene que regresar, Oli, y okay. puede decir, thank you for Gracias por esperar. Thank you for holding. Thank you no, for waiting. No, porque ahí le falta que ella diga, I'm yeah. sorry, Mr. Carlos no. is not in the I office. am sorry, Mr. Carlos is not the offices. Co co come and take a message. Mm -hmm. No, thank. No, no. Okay. Yo, en ese caso, Alex, quiero que deje, dejes un mensaje para que mensaje. puedan captar ah, okay. esa parte. Uh -huh. Leave a message. Okay. Um, okay, um, please tell, por favor, dígale a, please tell, please tell, okay, eh, sería, um, please tell him, um, that I calling Alexander. Sí, right. pero ¿por qué? ¿Cuál es el motivo de su llamada? Uh, What is the reason for your call? Mm -hmm. I am calling okay, okay. because... En el ejemplo okay, que I, le mandé dice así, mira. Yes, please tell Mr. Johnson to call me as soon as he can because I have a question about the new contract. Ok, eh... Um, Uh, tomando el ejemplo ese, diría, um, ok, tell him that I call, I call him Alexander is um, based on my class grade. Mm, no, eh, deja el mensaje explicando la razón por qué quieres hablar con, con, con esa persona. Uh, ¿Por qué le estás llamando? Uh -huh. uh, because, ¿por qué? Because, I am calling him because. Ok, um, I'm calling uh, because. Uh, consulting. Need, need, uh -huh. Because I, consulting I in contracts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, consulting uh, the contract. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. So I'm clearing it. All right. Practice. Practice. We got two yeah, minutes. Okay. So by a la hora, vea. Ah, ya no. Uh huh. Eh, I have to. Cuando tú dices, ¿a dónde, por ejemplo? No, está bien. Pero hagamos eso. The bus is less, less, uh, forty-five minutes. Démosle pues. Bye. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. Go. Practice. Go. T teacher, teacher, mm -hmm. antes de, uh, fíjese que nosotros habíamos ya, cuando eh, nos dio la, la última información, mm -hmm. prácticamente ya lo habíamos hecho con referencia a un servicio de, de masajes. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Uh, lo, lo vamos a practicar y, y, y nos da el, el ok. A ver si. Ok. Si oh. okay. Romy. Ya, yeah, ok. Good afternoon. Yeah. Thank you for calling in Body and Beauty. My name is Romy. How can I help you? Good afternoon. The reason for my calling is for one a massage. Perfect. We have three types for massage. Aromatherapy, traditional, and fruit therapy. Which one do you think? I want uh, aromatherapy. What is your cost? Do you cost thirty-five dollars? Thirty-five dollars. How long? How long does it last? The massage lasts forty-five minutes. It seems to me. What space do you have? Uh, uh, teacher, una pregunta. Man, ¿cómo se pronuncia available o Available. 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 Uh -huh. Gracias, teacher. Lo voy a anotar. Available. What space do you have available? I have two space. One at 2 p.m. and another at 4 p.m. I will take the one at 4 p.m. Perfect. Thank you for calling. Good job. It's good. It's good. Okay. Very good. Okay. Okay. Usaron las reglas de etiquette? Yep. Usaron bastantes principios de phone etiquette? Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Das, ahí, ahí tal vez nos falta un poquito, pero sí tratamos de hacerlo lo más apegado posible. Dicho. Solo que bueno. tal vez con nuestras propias palabras. Muchas veces es simplemente es algo tan simple como thank you, you're welcome, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Would you o sea, like to por, ejemplo, mm -hmm. por ejemplo, ahorita nosotros lo pudiéramos agregar a la hora de, de responder cuando ella me da un servicio, por ejemplo, mm -hmm. o algo así, ¿verdad? Yeah, yeah, you can always say thank you, you're welcome. Um, eh, bueno, no apliquen el caso de ustedes, pero cuando pongan una persona en hold, Van a poner una persona en espera. You say, can you wait a second, please? Can you hold for a second? Hold on, Manuel. Okay, very good. So, we're going to go ahead and present, right? Tenemos 15 minutos, más o menos. 15 a 20 minutos. And, and I want to hear you, okay? I want to hear you and I want to present. Uh, but first, attendance. Jaime Alexander. Present teacher, I'm here. Nervous, then, but I present. And, and listo para presentar. Ready to present. Okay. Danilo Alfredo. Present. Eh, Luis Gustavo. Present teacher, I'm here. Alba. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Eh, Harold Alexander. Harold. Eh, Francisco? Present teacher. Ana? Present teacher. Maria Sonia? Present teacher. Very good. Crisia? Present teacher. Omar? Ah, perdón, me brinqué. Carla María, me brinqué. Sorry. Present teacher. Crisia? Present, teacher. Omar. Present. Oli. Oli. Creo que se congeló tu, su, su tablet. Pablo. Present. And Minor. Present, teacher. And Manuel. Manuel Alberto. Manuel Alberto, is he here? Ahí está. Yeah, pre ah, prese, okay. Prese. Very good. Okay, so, listo para presentar? Are you ready? Yes. 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 All right. Yes. So, uh, let me Oli, see. Where are you? El primer grupo yeah. era 
El, el único grupo que tenía tres personas, Alba, Nubia, Alba, Nubia, Carla y Pablo. Okay. 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 So, ellos son tres personas o van a hacer una, la van a hacer un poquito diferente, but you can do it. Ok. okay. Thank first. you for Go. Go. Right, go, el, resto, go. El, el resto de nosotros go, go. nos vamos a poner en mute, right? All right. Yeah. Very okay. good. Thank you for calling the precision. My name is Pablo. How can I help you today? Good afternoon. My name is Carla. Could I speak to Miss Melendez, please? Call you hold for a moment, please. Okay, thank you. Good afternoon. Can I ask who is calling, please? Sure, I am Carla. I am calling because I need information about the meeting of tomorrow. The meeting is tomorrow at 2 p.m. Okay, thank you. Then you for call. Enjoy your day. Listo. Okay, excellent. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Estoy buscando aquí, deja ver. Ah, I see. Do you see? I have the, the little hands. Denle un, un applause. Si encuentran ahí las manos, denle un applause. O denle un thumbs up. Okay, very good. Excellent. Ready? Group number two is Maria Sonia and Omar. Okay. Okay, Omar. ¿Está listo? Está listo. Okay. Ten for you, perdón, ten for calling Dental Corporation. My name is Mary. How can I help you? Hello, Mary. This is Omar Speak. Can I speak with Dr. Carlos, please? I am sorry, Dr. Carlos is not in the clinic. Can I take medicine? Yes. Can you tell Jim to call me, please? Yes, I can. Don't I uh, else that can help you? No, thank you so much. Thank you for calling Dental Corporation. Have a have, have great day. Thank okay. you. Enjoy your day. Excellent, Omar. Good job. Good job. Okay, le voy a dar una manita. <laughs> Round of applause. Excellent. Okay. Number three is Danilo and Manuel. Danilo and Manuel. Viejo Danilo. Está. Okay. Manuel, ready. Okay. Hello. Thank you for calling Banco Agricola. My name is Danilo Alvarez. How can I help you today? Hello. My name is Manuel Vallejos. I'm calling because I want to know your office schedule. Of course. It's opening at 8 a.m. and closing at 5 p.m. Sorry. Which document do I need to get a uh, credit? You need your personal document and a labor proof of your company. Do I, do, I, do I help you in something else? Not that it's only. Okay. Thank you for calling Banco Agricola. Have a great day. Excellent. Good job. Good job, guys. Very good. Very good. He was calling to find out the schedule of the bank. Good job. Okay, the next group is number four, is uh, David Antonio and Francisco. Voy a llamarte Francisco. Okay. Hey, good evening, David. How can I help you? Good evening, Javier. 
could you transfer me to teacher Alvarado, please? Okay, David, but tell me the reason, please. I am calling because I need help with the homework. Uh, okay, David, could you hold for a moment, please? Okay, no problem. Okay, I'm sorry, but the Mr. Reparado is in class in this moment. Can I take a message for him? No, I call tomorrow, Javier. Thanks. Okay, Debbie, have a good night. Take care. Good night. Good Bye. job. Excellent, guys. Perfect. Perfect. Good job. Round of Barbaro. applause. Barbaro. Excellent. <laughs> Okay, group number five is Anna and Luis. Okay. Luis, Anna, Luis. Luis. Okay. Okay, no sabía que teníamos que hacer efectos especiales. <laughs> Ok. Listo, otra vez. Ok. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling Napoleon Beauty. My name is Romy. How can I help you? Good afternoon. The reason for my calling is for one massage. Perfect. We have three types of massage. Aromatherapy, traditional, and fruit therapy. Which one do you think? I want um, aromatherapy. What is your cost? Do you cost $35? Thanks. How long does it last? The massage lasts 45 minutes. Perfect. It seems to me, what space do you have about available? Sure, I have two space, one, uh, one at 2 p.m. and another at 4 p.m. Oh, perfect. I will take um, one at 4 p.m. Okay, thank you for calling. Finish. Okay, good job. Good job, Luis. Excellent, right? Good job. Very creative. He was calling for a massage, right? To find more information about the, the massage. Very good, Anna. Okay, excellent. Group number six. Solo nos faltan dos más. Group number six, Crisia and Minor. Okay. No vi mis aplausos. Qué barbaridad. Sí. Yo te puse, yo te puse, yo te puse. Yo también te puse. Yo también le puse. Ya vi, ya vi, ya vi. Thanks, thanks. Thanks for calling me. My name is Crisia. How can I help you? Hello, Crisia. Good morning. My name is Maino. How are you? Communicate with Carla, please. I will I will check in at office. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, Carla is not in the office. You can leave a messenger? No, fine, Tricia. I'm here to serve her. Save you. Happy day. Thank you. Have a great day, babe. Bye. Finish. Goodbye. Okay, very good. Excellent. Good job, guys. We have one more group. Alex and Oli. Okay. Okay. Alex, are you ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Okay. Good morning, Rating Alexander. Thank you for you calling Movistar. My name is Oli. How we come? I help you. 
I call you because I want to talk to Carlos Basic Level 3, Teacher Corporate English. Uh, could you help for a moment, please? Uh, I am sorry, Mr. Carlos, is not in the office. I take you a message. Uh, no, uh, yeah. Uh, I call him because consult the contract with uh, Carlos. Uh, thank you. You for calling uh, Movistar. I had three today. Okay, thank you. Okay, excellent. Good job. Good job, guys. Excellent. All right. So if you see, in, in there's a lot of thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, let's do Okay. Okay, excellent. So uh, we have just a, a few minutes, okay? Um, tengo que recuperar cinco minutos de clase, créanlo o no. So van a estar aquí hasta las diez y cinco. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. No But wait. Why? Uh, because, Why? porque me, me, no me, no, en una clase creo que no. yo ingresé tarde, algo así. <laughs> don't, don't worry. Ah, okay. nosotros vamos a pagar. All right, wait. Very good. Look. <laughs> si quieren ver este ese video, si quieren ver ese video eh, de, de las frases, ¿ok? Eh, les voy a mandar este video, este link, ¿ok? Eh, ella está mostrando muchas frases, otras que no pude cubrir aquí, que pueden usar phone expressions, ¿ok? Um, y aquí hay un examen que pueden tomar, ¿ok? So, les voy a mandar este link, lo pueden hacer eh, y van a aprender otras phone expressions. Okay? Eh, ¿Usaron las phone expressions? Yeah. Okay. Yes. yes. El saludo es lo más difícil en una llamada. Les digo porque aún habla, yo hablaba inglés nativo, bueno, todavía hablo inglés nativo, pero lo, no. cuando yo estaba oh. en Telus... Cuando yo estaba en Telus, en inglés, lo más difícil era el greeting para mí. Y, y la mayoría falló el greeting también acá. Thank you for calling. Telus. My name is Carlos. How can I help you today? Right? Y esa era la, más, la parte más difícil, porque nos ponemos nerviosos en esa parte. Good afternoon. How can I help you today? Good morning. What can I do for you today? Hello, this is Carlos speaking. Okay, now, quiero que noten algo. Intonation. Look at the sound of my voice, the intonation of my, of my voice. Yo voy para arriba, yo voy a hablar, good afternoon. Y hago la pausa, right? How can I help you today? Voy para arriba. Do you see? Thank you for calling Walmart. My name is Carlos. How can I help you today? Voy para arriba, ¿verdad? Good morning. What can I do for you today? Con energía para arriba. Okay? Y esto se llama intonation in English. Parte del tema de la pronunci eh, pronunciación. Hello, this is Carlos speaking. Okay? So when, whenever you ask a question, when you ask a question, cuando haya la pregunta, espe especialmente este tipo de pregunta, yes or no, Uh, you can rise intonation, okay? For example, Olil, uh, a cell greeting, okay? Say the greeting with your name. Así como lo dijiste en la, en, la, en la presentación. Okay, thank you for calling Movistar. My name is Oli. Who I can do today? How? You today. How can I help you today? How? Okay, how very good. How? How can I help you today? ¿Quién la quiere probar? ¿Quién quiere hacer el greeting? How can I help you today? Very good. Okay. Uh, Luis, hacer el greeting, el greeting completo. Como si tú estuvieras contestando la llamada en tu empresa. Luis. Okay. Thank you for calling. 
Hola. Do, no, dale. Decir tu nombre. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you for calling Pepsi. My name is Gustavo. How can I help you today? Excellent. All right. Very good. How can I help you today? How Intonation. Can I you? Mm -hmm. How Maria. can I help you today? Ah, ahí está mejor. Maria, do the, the, the introduction here. Hacerla así como tú lo hiciste en la presentación with your, with your company. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Perdón. Thank you Thank for you. calling. Thank you. Thank you for calling Dental Corporation. My name is Mary. How can I help you today? How can I help you today? How can I help you today? Okay. Look, la intonación es una, una parte muy, muy importante de las preguntas. La, toda pregunta tiene una intonación específica. En este caso estamos viendo rising intonation. Okay. Entonces es, how can I help you today? How can I help you today? Okay. How can I help you today? Lo, lo voy a hacer con la, con la, como el sonido de música. Look, listen. La, 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 la. How can I help you today? How can I help you today? En esta, en esta ejemplo. Look, good afternoon. How can I help you? La, 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 la. It's like, voy para arriba, ¿verdad? How can I help you today? Okay, very good. Now, esa es la parte más difícil de la, de la, del telephone etiquette. Es la parte más difícil, cuesta más. Because it's, uh, it's I don't, no sé por qué. It's just introduction, right? It's, it's difficult sometimes. Okay, hold on a second. I have one more activity very quickly that we're going to do, okay? Look at this activity here. Hay tres cajitas. Leaving a, a voice message, asking for someone on the phone, asking someone to wait. Todo esto lo hicieron ustedes en su práctica, en su presentación. Number one, leaving a voice message. Dígale a fulano de tal que ta, 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 ta. Leaving a message. Asking for someone on the phone. Yes, can I speak to Mr. Johnson? Asking someone to wait. Can you hold for a second, please? Todo esto lo hicieron ustedes. All right, so, number one here. Just a minute. Esta frase aquí arriba, ¿dónde encaja? Just a minute. Leaving a voice. Asking, asking for asking someone, someone, someone to wait. wait. Just asking a minute. Someone. Asking someone to wait. Someone to wait. Very good. Yes. Correct. Asking someone to wait. Uh, I can't answer your call at the moment. Leaving a voice is missing. No, mm -hmm. asking for some on the asking phone. For asking, some for some on the um, phone. asking for someone on the phone. Asking for someone. Asking for someone. Asking someone to wait. Esto de pidiéndole a alguien que espere. Or leaving a voice message. Okay. Or asking for someone on the phone. Asking leaving a voice message. Okay. Dejemos, las, dejemos esa de último. Okay. Can you call me back? ¿Dónde encajaría eso? Can you call me back? Imagínese si, la, si alguien está hablando. Eh, uh -huh. una, leaving, a leaving a voice message. Leaving a voice message. message okay? Message. Pidiéndole a alguien que haga algo. ¿verdad? Can you please call me back? El, el eh, buzón de voz. Yes, can you please call me back? You can call me on my work number or mobile. Yeah, leaving a voice message. Leaving a voice message. Leaving okay. a voice message. Very good. A ver si encaja esta cosa. Hey, no okay. quiere encajar. I don't know why. Córtela, córtela. No puedo. All right, very good. Hey, no sé por qué encaja. Me encaja. Okay. 
Hello, is Dane there? Hello, asking for someone. Very good. Yes. Please leave a message after the tone. No can escuchado eso. Please leave a message after the tone. Yeah, leaving a voice message. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Leaving a voice message. Very good. Can you wait a minute? Asking some yeah. to wait. Asking some to wait, yeah. Asking some want to wait. Can you wait a minute, please? Asking someone to wait. Asking someone to wait. Okay. Sorry, he's not here just now. Asking for some on the phone. Asking for someone on the yeah. phone. Right? No, no se encuentra. He's not here right now. Hey, this thing, man. No sé por qué no me deja. <laughs> Será porque no tengo... No, es, la, es demasiada ancha y, la, ah. y la, es muy angosta la, la parte okay. de, la, de la tabla. Ok. Bueno. Eh, hi, Dan. It's Amy. Asking for someone. Asking for someone. Mm. Asking for someone te, no. eh, terminaría en una pregunta. No, uh, no. And leaving a voice uh, message. Leaving a voice message. Mm -hmm. Yes. Teacher, será de que esas no se pegaron porque según el sistema no van ahí donde las estamos queriendo poner. Mm, no, no creo. Es por okay. la tabla de Word. Sí, porque también... Veo esta página por veces eh, me falla si, si estoy usando así la tablet, ¿verdad? O si, estoy, si no estoy usando un ratón, un mouse. Sí, la tiene que hacer como configurarla en la tabla. All right. And finally, the last one. Uh, it's Amy. I'm not here right now. Esto está como un mensaje de, de buzón de voz, ¿verdad? Hello, it's Carlos, but I am not here right now. Right? So, some reason like that. All right, very good. So, no sé, la otra no me encajaron, but basically, eh, what you do, repasando los stages of the call, right? Tenemos varios pasos durante la llamada, rapidito. Greeting, que es el más difícil por veces. Asking for another person. Y todo please and welcome, right? Los americanos son bien así, bien please. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day. Explaining the reason for your call. Otra, otro stage of the call. Placing someone on hold. Can you please hold? Right? Asking who is calling. Can I ask who's calling, please? Asking for a message. Can I take a message, please? Do you mind leaving a message? Asking for clarification. No le entendí muy bien. ¿Qué dijo? I'm sorry. Can I re can you repeat that, please? Okay. Y ustedes me pueden decir eso también. Aquí en la clase, ustedes pueden usar esta frase. Can you say that again, please? Can you repeat that, please, teacher? Finish the call. Thank you for calling Walmart. Have a great day. Okay, very good. Stages of the call. Okay. Todo dentro del tema de phone etiquette. All right. Questions? No? Okay. ¿Cómo van en los foros? ¿Cómo van en las tareas? Yo ya voy algo adelantado. En las tareas deberíamos de estar en la 14, right? Tarea 14, ahorita 15. 14, teacher. Foro. Eh, algunos no han contestado los foros. Estaba viendo ahí que están como por el 13. La mayoría se quedó ahí por el 12, 13. A mí me eh, falta el de ahora, pero ya terminé los exámenes. All right. Very good. Very good. So, eh, los foros. Eh, contesten los foros eh, del 12 en adelante. Ok. okay. And eh, we'll see each other tomorrow. Ok. Tomorrow, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Repasar. Re review. Vocabulary. Review grammar. Si no entendieron algún tema de gramática o de vocabulario. Allí lo podemos ver mañana, que va a ser solo repaso de todo, de toda la unidad. All right, very good. See you tomorrow then, okay? Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye, every day. Have a good night.